Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Gay Gay. This is today's look. A light orangey springish look. Even though we're quarantined, it's still spring. So let's just enjoy some color. Please stay tuned, watch the video, like and subscribe. It is appreciated. And I will holla. We're going in with this Pore Perfecting Base from L'Oreal. We are trying to fill in those open pores. Or should I say those gaping holes. The Grand Canyon. The Black Abyss. Whew. You know what I'm saying. And the usual filling in brows. Hopefully we will have twins today. Hey, that'll be nice. So y'all, as usual, excuse the noise. I live in a very noisy house. Well, apartment, I should say. And everybody is home, quarantine. So, yeah. Yeah, indeed. It is day, I don't even know what day it is of quarantine. I just know that we're still quarantined. Yes, we are. I hope everybody is well. <clears throat> Excuse me, we were at the emergency room two two this morning, the Minkster, in the middle of a pandemic. So we've got mask, gloves, and I I'm most suited and booted up than the nurses was. It's like, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm asking them 85,000 questions. Like, uh, okay, are there any closer to a cure? Do y'all know anything? You got any inside information? Tell me something. Okay, so I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer uh, and Fawn, a little on the back of my hand with a flat head brush from Wet n Wild. And I am going to clean up the brows, the usual. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that, you know, like if we are gonna have to live like this for a while, or I don't know how long we're gonna have to live like this, or if if we're gonna have another pandemic, is, or is it gonna be another super bug that pops up somewhere? I mean, so I wonder if they're gonna bring back drive, drive-ins. Y'all probably don't know nothing about it. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that. You may be too young, but that's where you would go to the movies and you just sit in your car and watch the movie. Oh, I was thinking about that. My sister was telling me about a church that was having like a drive, drive-in church. They were sitting in their cars and the people were just having service outside on a s platform or something like that. And I thought, oh, okay. To me, that sounded pretty interesting. Not that I'm going, but I just thought I, it sounded interesting. And I thought, well, you know what? If we end up having to really live like this, because, I mean, how do we know it's not going to be another one of these something else? I mean, because where did this come from just out the blue? Coronavirus has always been around, but, I mean, it ain't never been like this. So, you know, what's really going on? I know it's a lot of theories out there. I'm not going to get into all that, but it do make you wonder. Ooh, I'll be so pretty. Mm. Okay, so I'm going in with the Tarte palette and I'm gonna take this little color right here and place this in my, under my brow, for my brow color. Yeah, come through, come through. I always talk about how this is not my favorite palette, but when it comes to brow colors, it is. Cause them brow colors be popping in this Tarte palette. Okay guys, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush, the Wet n Wild P15. <laughs> I got so professional. I'm just so professional now. And I'm gonna take this color right here and put this under my Directly under that brow color. Oh, no, that's too dark. We won't be doing that one. 
We're going to do like an orange look. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> Who knows? And I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to take that right under the brow. And just blend. A makeup's best friend is to blend. Okay, so now I'm going in with a deeper orange right in that crease. And I'm just going to try to blend that out a little bit. I want it dark. Cause I'm gonna do a cut. I'm gonna do that cut. I'm gonna do that cut. And I am taking, I am using a 2285. I don't know what this brush is. And then I'm going back into the Juvia's Place palette, the No Man palette, and I'm taking this yellow right here. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm going to take that above that orange. And just see if I can get it to marry together. Just barely, barely, barely. Okay, so we're going in and we're going to do this crease. Cut crease. Hmm, I'm going to try doing it with this brush. And excuse the noise, guys. I'm sorry. The little girl is playing with her toys very loudly upstairs. I can't really say anything because it's not like the child can go outside in a pandemic. You know what I mean? So kind of have to kind of be patient with everybody because you know you just have to be patient these kids gotta play you know lord have mercy the poor babies are they gonna have to be already can't go outside somebody trying to grab them up and ugh, everything else now they living in the midst of a pandemic Okay, so we're going to go in with this orange, and then we're going to go in with this orange. So let's just apply this right in the inner corner. It's spring. Man, we can't go outside, but it's spring. It is indeed. Okay, so we're going in with this orange. Well, the birds are chirping really loud. I have a red bird that sits on a tree. And I guess she is um, giving orders. And we're going in with this color here and we're gonna place that right on the outer V. And bring it in. So 
So we're going in with a little bit of this burgundy color and we're going to put that right on the edge, the outer V. And we're going to take some orange and we're going to mix those together and just, I'm going to use that to give it a little definition, that burgundy. Okay, this is what the eyes are looking like. Okay, so we're going to go in with this cat eye now. Yes. Yes. God favors me. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Becca and the MAC Studio Fix, yeah, on the back of my hand. Ooh, <laughs> I may have gotten a little bit too much. I don't know. And I'm going to just go in and place my foundation. And I mixed the, um, the MAC with this Becca because the Becca dries so quickly. And I have to have something to kind of shear it out. And it's thick. The MAC is not, um, see, I think it's not as thick as I, it's thick, full coverage, but it's just not as thick as I, I like it. So I add the Becca. Love on the rocks ain't no big surprise. Oh, I don't have no copyrights. My so right now, darlings, I am low lighting and I am highlighting. I am using Julia's Place. I want to smell like a girl, in fun. I'm blending it out. And I'm going to go in with the C.I. Tate. I never know how to pronounce that. Back of my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to put a little on the back of my Beauty Blender. Did I say that already? And I'm going to place it over my eye. Blend this out first. Okay. Let us tell them all about our troubles he will hear. No copyrights, no copyrights to no songs. Just a tune in my head, that's all. And I'm blending out my low light. Making this face smaller. <laughs> Giving it that appearance, starting. Giving it that appearance. Blending it out. I'm going in with the talc baby powder. And this is the completed look. My orange springy look. 
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and I will holla at you later.